I mean, what the heck? I, I just lost my mind. Yeah, I just lost my mind. Ay, ay, ay. Lost my mind. Sorry if I'm being quiet, you guys. Just thinking about what I'm going to play against Hans. Just thinking about what the options are. <laughs> Nakamura is, uh, well, no, he's just, uh, I mean, you, you say the name, people run and they hide the kids, right? It's scary. Very, very scary <laughs> over the board. This man is a beast. We already know what Hikaru can do. And Hans is uh, relentlessly working, so he does have a shot. But again, he's going to have to bring his absolute best against one of the absolute best, Hikaru. Yeah, this this is the challenge ahead of Hans. He's got the white pieces because he finished first in yesterday's Swiss tournament to qualify to today as the top seed. Okay, rookie one, I can play H6 and castles here, I believe. All very standard. That's it. And then qualify for the final H6 from Ikaro here again. Now, this is in early G5 already because of the early castling from white. So G5 actually is a move that can be played in these lines and the X castles. So nobody's going for the G5 at all. Three rookie eight. Again, all very, all very standard so far. Nothing crazy. Yeah, rook B1. Now there are a couple options here that black can play. I'm trying to think about which one I want to play. B5 is one option. Rookie eight's another option. Rookie eight's what I played actually. So my assumption is that most likely he's gonna be ready. So I'm gonna play B5. I just, I think he's gonna be ready for the main line that I normally play. So I'm gonna play a slightly different line here. Now there are a couple moves. Rook B8 is a move. Rookie eight's a move. Um, there are a lot of different options. I'm trying to think which one I wanna play. I think I'm gonna play Rook B8 here. On takes and maybe using, um, this reminds me of a, is it Karpov? There's a Karpov game like this with bishop b2 rook a3 rook here is that al ali i can it's one of the oh other. i i know which one you mean yes yeah with the rook on a3 and doubling and etc and then finally taking do you think that's what hans is thinking too, about too one, he's like recalling this. his analysis of carpo's <laughs> best games yeah absolutely right but of course here it is a little bit different now we just have to trade the bishop soft and this just seems very equal and probably a d5 is going to be blundering very equal position takes pawn takes it's a lot of pawns in the center yeah it takes with the rook i expected the pawn capture too rookie a very quick move i don't know knight a5 no that's not doing anything really yeah with the rook, rook on e3 one. you need to bring it back first to e1 to then try to double on the a file and then yeah knight a5 now rook takes it up could be very possible yeah, and even if there's a trade on a5 later with the rooks, he could consider taking with the pawn. With a pass. Mm. Pass pawn, chat. Queen c8 from Ikaro. Interesting. What are you supposed to do with c7 pawn as black in his line? Oh, he plays. Oh, he played king h. I didn't even see that move on the board. Reasonable. Knight h5. I mean, rook eight is always a move. It's a question of whether I want to play it or not. I'm going to do something a little bit unusual. I'm going to try to reroute my knight to b6 here. This is not like a standard approach, but it's it seems different. It seems like it's probably okay. Again, not the standard way of playing this for sure. It goes knight a5. Logical. Now I have knight e7 or knight d8. Both are playable. I mean, knight d8, I mean, I can also take. I take as he, he's taking with the rook. I mean, again, very, 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 very slow position. Yeah, this is really not very exciting. I think I'm going to take. If he ta okay, he takes, I go here, knight b6. Really just not a very exciting position. Anyway, you break it down. Although I have to be careful of knight h4 somewhere. Mm for Hikaru, but it is solid. So it's also not easy to to do more than just a slight edge. It, it is very comfortable from White's perspective, for sure, to have the A file, especially the only open file. All right. Knight F8 was also interesting to go to E6 or G6. Maybe that was better. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to angle for Knight H4. I mean, I see his whole, whole idea here. Um, 
Knight of eight e6 looks quite reasonable. I mean, it's not necessarily the best way to play it, though. I can also just go g6. Knight b6 is interesting as well to go knight a4. Hmm. Six knight h4, queen six knight f5. Takes, takes. Hmm, take six, rookie six, or... Uh, hmm, interesting. Knight f8 makes sense, but is it the right move? I'm not sure. C5 is also lurking. I suspect I should have gone knight f8 right away. Hero, just... Hans actually is for choice. If you want, like, who would you rather take here? Well, of course, Black's all of his pieces aren't even off the seventh rank, right? So, of course, we do have uh, our, our choice for, for white, but Black has a very nice hold on the center. In fact, one pawn structure structures are very good to understand the skeleton pawn structures. This pawn structure with the pawn on C6 and E5 controls literally like the entire center, right? Because you got a pawn this, this, you got a pawn on one, and you also have influence here. So, like, three squares where you can't really do much about. Maybe you could play d4, but that makes b4 weak after a capture. Also e4. I mean, it's, it's difficult. You also go up to c4 square. So lots of things to think about. Very level position. I really like knight h4 f5 for white. My, my instinct tells me this has to be correct. So I have knight e6 and c5 somewhere in here. c6 was stupid because the pawn wasn't under attack. And I actually only created weaknesses. Like I, I should, just should have gone knight f8 right away. But now knight h4, I can play g6 because I, I guard the pawn against this trick. Okay, so he plays c4, which I'm actually, I think, happy to see. Because now I think after takes, I don't think I can actually lose this position anymore. I take, take, play queen b7. I mean, I think c4 is a mistake. I mean, maybe not mistake, mistake, but it makes it where I think I should be able to draw this without too much difficulty. I think c4 was wrong. White's still probably marginally better, but with this with the structure, having him having to play b5 here, hard to see this being a position which white can win anymore. Now, rook c1. Okay, so yeah, so he's basically going for this end game where he puts pressure on the pawn on c6. Queen b4 trade, rook. I mean, that's that's all fine. I can take and play rook d8, rook a6, rook d3. That's probably a draw, but I don't love it. Rook c8. Actually looks okay, I think. Let's go here. Because now I'm threatening d5 as well. Oh, maybe I could have just gone knight e6 and queen b4. Why didn't I just play knight e6 there? Oh, that's so stupid by me. It's still probably a draw, but knight e6 was so much better, I think. I think it was better. Maybe it wasn't, but no, it was just a much better move. Not actually playing this game very well. Move the cursor off the board. Hans has to make the best of this position, but if it's a draw, it's a draw, and you take your chances where you can. Okay, yeah. six takes and takes. I think they are heading toward that line. I don't really see any other alternatives for white. And as you pointed out, uh, the b4 pawn has become a more of an issue than the c6 pawn at this rate, so he probably has to go for the liquidation. Yeah, because B4, I mean, you can go the passive route, but I mean, that's really passive. And you're just holding the pawn, and if you're not playing... Still would have been a draw, most likely, but I think I would. I think I might have had chances if I played knight e6, queen 6, queen b4. I think I would have had chances maybe to win the game. He goes rook a6, which gives me d5 here or something. Wait a second. This is getting a little bit spicy. Wait, I have d5? I also have knight e6 takes, takes, and queen b4 now, which also I think is just completely rock solid. Let me think about it. So I go knight e6, it's fine. d5, queen a2. Queen a2, queen b4, knight e5. Queen d4. No, queen d6, f4. Doesn't seem right. Rook a8, no, it doesn't seem right. I think knight e6 has to be the right move here. Knight h4, d5. No, I mean... This looks correct. Takes, 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 and takes. And I'm in. Now I guard. My knight is jumping. I can never lose. So, yeah, this is completely fine. 
Still should have played 96 first. Oh, maybe he would have gone rook. Maybe, maybe if I go 96 here. Maybe I play knight. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Let's take. Let's take. Again, not much happening here. There should be a draw. I mean, you can try like queen d7, I guess, but I have a better knight in this position. It's worth noting my knight is much better than his knight. Doubt I can win this, but I feel like I might get chances. Alright, goes queen d7. g6, I think, is the right move here. As long as knight h4 doesn't work, I just have to make sure. g6, knight h4, queen d2 even looks good. g6, rook c6, rook d8, queen e7. I don't have a queen d2 move though. Hmm. I really want to play g6 here. It's just a move. It feels right, but I don't see a way to make it work. Queen a3 is a move. Rook d8 is probably the barrage approach. Rook e8. Queen e7. I mean, oh, maybe I can even go king. No, king f. No, nah, king f8 is insane. So really the question is here, what's the way to force a draw? Queen b6 looks like the move. Rook c6, queen f2, queen d6. Yeah, this must be right. Because rook c6 I just take, and then I have rook c2, and it's very scary. I cover c7. I'm hitting the diagonal. Many ways for white to draw here, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Should have played this other order. Yeah, rook c2, I think is a good move. Is rook c2 actually a good move or not? Wait a second. He was kind of wrong somehow. Wait, I have knights. Wait, did he just blunder knight c5? Wait a second. Knight c5, queen e7, knight d3, rook c7, rook f8. Wait a second. Queen e7. Knight c5, queen e7, knight d3, rook c7, rook f8. Knight h4. Queen f2, knight g6, rook moves away. Knight f5 threatens mate in one. <laughs> he offers a draw here. I don't think I'm taking it because I, ha I have way more time. Knight 7 knight d3, rook c7, rook f8. Knight h4, queen f2, knight f5. Yeah, there's no way there's no way to win that. Hmm. Five queen e seven. I think I should still I don't know, knight c five I can't. I think I should just probably just bail it out a little bit here. I mean this is just a draw, but yeah, it's probably it's too risky. I was looking at a line with um knight c5, queen c7, knight c3, rook c7. Okay, it goes there, but that I thought was a mistake. Um go here. I mean I'm trying to do something here, basically. Knight, oh, I blundered knight h4. Whoops. That was just a mistake by me. Although I can go Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't even see knight h4. What the heck was that? Oh, that's just ridiculous by me. <sighs> yeah, now I just have to go here and force a draw. There's just nothing I can do. Go here. 
That was so stupid by me. Ah, oh, so stupid. I guess I'll play d5. Try to open up a center here. And I guess I'll go h5, maybe king h6, maybe g5 somewhere. Again, all, all this, all these, ro all roads lead to a draw here, basically. But I'm just going to keep playing because why not? And knight f3, of course. Just, ugh. Unfortunate. Yeah, knight h4 is also a good move that I didn't see. Yeah, I just have to force a draw here. I think I had something for maybe one move. I don't know. I guess I just go here. And this knight g6, knight knight e7, just draw the game. I had something for like one move, but... Uh, it's nothing. Frustrating. I think I had some for like one move. Let me see. Was I did I have something here? Um, ninety six. It's not much. Yeah, knight c. Yeah, I go here. Knight c five is working or not? G six is better. Whatever. Who cares? All right, let's play something slow. Nothing fancy schmancy. Just keep it very slow and very controlled. Right, he likes C5. That's right, I forgot that he likes this line. Um, of course, very high with that. Heavily, yeah. But, yeah, I guess but maybe not. he thought that that's what Hans is expecting the that's most. That's true. Like, Hans is too good for that. So, <laughs> we have this here. Takes, takes. Taras. Bishop D6. Bishops look good. Iso pawn. Bishop back. Yeah. I yeah, like these positions. A couple of these structures kind of today, the isolated yeah. pawn. Actually, but no, black has the iso pawn. So having this is fun, but you gotta have it. It has to be correct. You have to like go bishop e6. This pawn's hanging. Is he gonna give it up? He does. Bishop e6, he goes defend. Now b3, a bit late, but still. Yeah, <laughs> delayed b3. Delayed <laughs> Larson system from. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Now Queen E7 makes sense. Obviously go knight d4 again. It's probably not right. Rook C1 looks like the correct move, but yeah, let's go Rook C1 and Knight D4. My main plan here is just keep the game slow, and if, if it's a draw, it's a draw. And if I can't beat him in bullet, that's that's my own fault. I'm not very good at chess. But I, I'm trying to keep this very slow for that exact reason. Although maybe I had knight a4 there. Should be seven. Interesting. Now I can definitely trade. And play like bishop f3, maybe. No, this is just stupid by me. Back. I think it's stupid. Maybe not. Wait. Well, maybe I can go knight b1, knight d2. I also have some weird idea with bishop a6 here. No, maybe it's not so bad. I mean, knight b1's not. The, I want to go bishop f3, but I just forgot he had bishop e5 and d4. I mean, he's trying to make some D4 type thing work, I think. That's my assumption in terms of why he's thinking so long here. The thing is, now that I have the time edge, I can also slow down too. But this is a blitz game. You don't really yeah. have that much time to spend. And you know, here's the best move. The engine says, sacrifice the pawn to open the bishop. Wow. D4. Will he do that? That would, that would be crazy. Play. And then this one, this is probably another move I would have played to get rid of the bishop because yeah. of uh, how strong it is. We can't a lot more human. Bishop. Yeah, right. definitely. And now I can play D4 without giving it up. 
So he's getting rid of Hikaru's dangerous Fianca oh, Bishop. Well, he thought he's game? getting rid, we'll rid of it. Could this be a repetition of moves or simply just trading on a different square? Han's thinking, is he gonna sack the exchange? Hmm? What is Han's doing? Is he why is he thinking so long here? Yeah, he has to go there. We trade. I mean, I, s I assume queen d4 must be the right. Knight e4 logical. I can play knight d2 here. F3 is a move. Knight c3 is also, I think, completely reasonable. Uh, knight d2 is that, so I can't do that. F3 is always a move here, but it's not special. Oh, I think knight c3 has got to be the right move. Oh, I didn't see knight g5. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just didn't see knight g5. That's, oh, that's just a very good move. I just completely missed it. Back. Yeah, now this is going to be a draw, probably. I just, I mean, I can't stop him. Yeah, knight e6, and I, I just missed this. My bishop on e2 naturally is also on the wrong square here, which doesn't help matters. The ring it then uh, has pressure on the rook on d6. And, and there it is. It's losing! Oh, it is a blunder! It's a blunder! It's a blunder. What? Has How? He, it? he is... did. It's on the board. Is it d4? Oh. Did I just blunder also? I think I did. Got knight g4. Just lovely. What am I doing here? Knight takes d4. Why can't I just take this? Is this Queen some... G5. Oh my oh goodness. My. This hits mate. And the rook. Oh. G2 and the C1 the rook's at hanging. the same time. Oh my goodness. That's so hard. How and he finds he... it. It's on the board. seconds on the clock. Plays pawn to D4. And he must see this. He definitely... If he... If he's sacrificing the pawn, it is because he sees the tactical <laughs> pattern with queen g5. Oh my goodness. What a moment. I was I was slightly worried when I suggested queen before, but when Hikaru played it, I thought, okay, now he wouldn't blunder anything, so it's safe, right? Yeah. And he is uh, thinking now. Wow. Wow, what a combination. And you know who does a lot of puzzles just like Hikaru does? is Hans. Okay, if this is no good, it's no good. I'm just going to go for it. What? Oh, he's got queen g5. Wait. Oh, he just got... I, I didn't even see queen g5. What the heck? Ah, shoot. I didn't even see that. I mean, what the heck? I, I just lost my mind. Yeah, I just lost my mind. Yeah, I lost my mind. I just lost my mind. That's game over. I just lost my mind. Yeah, I just lost my mind. I just lost my mind. I didn't see Queen G5. I just didn't see Queen G5. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just didn't see Queen G5. I spent all my time and I, th I spent all my time and I only saw Knight F4. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just blinded it. I mean, this was so stupid. Queen E5 and I draw the game. Frustrating. Oh, that's an unfortunate way to end the day. Yeah, I just blinded it. I, because basically I spent all this time looking at bishop f1 and knight g5 and I thought it was bad. And I'm like, okay, I can just take because knight f4 is the only move and he has knight d4. Yeah, I just blinded it. Yeah, I just completely blinded it out. Apparently it's still okay. I mean, I missed my window the previous game. I should I should have won the previous game. But here, if I had realized there was danger, I would have gone queen e5, lock it down, make the draw, no worries. Nah, I mean, I just got careless. I just got really, really careless. Right, right here, this is okay. This is fine, but I just go queen e5, queen g3. Some d4 just takes and bishop c4 and just make the draw. No, I got really, really careless. And queen b4, d4, bishop f1 is... I just want to make sure that I wasn't crazy, though. Bishop f1 is losing, but... I spent all this time on bishop f1, and then, like, I took, and then I'm like, what the heck, I didn't see this, because I only saw knight f4. And it's just lost, right? Okay, computer says I have some weird idea with this and this, but yeah, not meant to be.
No, what happened is I, I just I just blundered. I just completely blundered. I mean, I, I, I just didn't see this idea. I just blundered for a second, and I and, and the worst part about it is that I spent all this time looking at Bishop F1. I was looking at this line. I wasn't sure what was going on. And it is losing, kind of. No, it is losing. So I spent all the time, and I'm like, wait, I can just take, because Knight F4, I go D5, and this is fine. Although apparently even this isn't fine. But I thought this was fine, and then he plays Knight D4, and I'm just like, okay, what am I supposed to do here? I just panicked. But, yeah. And the next time I'll get him, I mean, it's one time. It's just, it's frustrating. So I was trying to keep the game under control, and I just blundered. It's worse because it's Hans. Uh, if this was Hans, like, a year ago, that's one thing. Hans nowadays, it's not such a big deal. But Hans winked at the camera, whatever, you guys. I know you're trying to bait me, and that's fine. But, I mean, it's one game. It's, it's like I said, it's one game. And he played well, so there's nothing to really be unhappy about. But, yeah, it's it's just unfortunate. Yeah, it's just really unfortunate because I just didn't see this. I only saw knight f4, and I, th I also saw bishop g2. And I was, you know what else? I was up so much time here that I could have used that time. I was up like 30 seconds here, and I did this move right away, which was just, yeah, very bad. 